Hi guys, today we will add Chrome browser to our test, but first of all, uh, let's go to POM XML file and fix something. So this Selenium Firefox driver here, uh, the dependency, we don't really need it. Uh, since we added Gecko driver, we can remove the, this dependency. Let's save it and let's update Maven project. Now, let's find Chrome driver and download it and let's put it here next to Gecko driver in our source main resource folder. Uh, so to get the Chrome driver, just go to Selenium website to download section. And here scroll down until you see Chrome, uh, Google Chrome driver. Just click on it. Uh, latest release Chrome driver 2.29 and I need for Windows, so Windows 32 zip. Uh, show in folder, unarchive and let's just drop it into source main resource folder. Copy files, OK. So now we have Chrome driver here in our source main resource folder. Now uh, let's go to test.ngxml and create copy of our login test. Uh, first of all, let's remove, uh, let's exclude negative test instead of positive. Let's just run positive tests for now. Or let's instead of exclude, let's put in include. So now we're gonna run only positive login test. Uh, okay, here login test ff for Firefox and let's copy this test and name it login test ch for Chrome. So now we're gonna run two tests, two exactly the same test, two positive login tests, but one we want to run in Firefox Another one we want to run in Chrome. Uh, in order to specify that this test we want to run in Firefox and this one in, in Chrome, uh, let's use uh, test ng parameters. So here's the link for uh, documentation for test ng parameters. Uh, well, that's test ng documentation page. Uh, and 5.6 is the parameters. So now let's put the parameter to our uh, test in GXML. So here are example for how to put parameter into test in G suite. So let's copy it from here, parameter. And here under class or under classes. Let me remember. Uh, un under under test before classes. Since this is test level parameter, not just class level or or method level. So let's put it here. Uh, let's name it browser. And this one we want to run in Firefox. So let's let's give it the value Firefox. And the same for next test. But instead of Firefox, it's going to be Chrome. So now in uh, test and GXML, we say that this test we want to run in Firefox, this one in Chrome. Now let's go to our base test where we start our Firefox driver. Uh, let's add parameter annotation here at parameters. Let's import test ng annotations. And here, here's the example how it should, so how it's supposed to look. Let's copy, let's paste here. So parameters. And our parameters name is browser. So let's put browser here instead of first name. And now our method 
will be receiving a string browser. So method setup string browser. So now we have to do something with this browser. So instead of setting up our uh, driver here, let's create new class and let's call it browser factory. Uh, need constructor finish. So we have our browser factory. Uh, so what I what I want to do here from this method setup, I just want to call browser factory method, give it the string browser and get driver from it. So here, uh, so system out print, let's leave it here. And next gonna be driver equals and inside of the browser factory, let's create method get driver and give it string browser. Save. Uh, hover over, let's create this method. Okay, so now we have public static method inside of the browser factory, which will return web driver. Uh, so if we want it to return web driver, let's just cre let's create web driver here. Web driver driver. Let's import. Oh, it's already here. Now uh, let's do switch logic here. Switch. Did I make a mistake? Switch case. So we're gonna receive browser here as a key and if value Firefox then let's go to base tests let's cut this thing from here we don't actually need it anymore here and basically now this is all we need to have here uh, except this one we don't need her here anymore. Let's save our base test. Now let's go back to browser factory. Firefox X. So if the browser name equals Firefox, then web driver give a driver our path to the driver and driver gonna be equal uh, Firefox driver. Yeah, now it's not gonna be Fire, well, it is, but what the problem is here? Unused, oh, unused. Yeah, because we're gonna return it here in the end. So now it's gonna be used and initialize variable. Yeah, let's, let's do it like that. Next, if instead of Firefox, we're gonna have we're gonna have Chrome. Then, instead of web driver, Geeko driver, let's see if here on the Chrome page they say what it should be. No. Well, anyways, it should be web driver instead of Geeko, Chrome driver. And our pass is gonna be Chrome driver dot exe. And for default, let's put Firefox as, as the default driver. So if you don't have any parameters, then it's gonna return. Or if if the browser here gonna say something, I don't know, Internet Explorer, but we don't have it here yet, then it's gonna return just inter, uh, the Firefox Kiko driver. Uh, I wonder if we need this here. No, we don't need it anymore because we have default. Um, and one more thing, let's uh, let's actually maximize our window before we start our test. So when the browser is opened, let's just open the browser window into full screen. 
So driver manage window maximize like that. Okay, save. Uh, let's 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 try to run our test. So test in GXML, everything saved. Right click, run S. And let's see. So method setup, Gecko driver is starting. Okay. Firefox started. Firefox closed. Now method setup and Gecko driver running again. So somewhere we made a mistake. Huh. Let's see where we made a mistake. Browser Chrome, browser Firefox. Chrome, Chrome. Hmm. Well, let's let's do the debug. Browser, browser, browser. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go here. Uh, yeah. Let's let's change this method setup, or let, let's actually add log uh, here. So system out print line. And let's let's comment starting browser driver. Hmm. Now let's I don't know why. If it's Firefox or driver gig up, oh, of course, Firefox driver. It's need to be Chrome driver. Yeah, I bet you guys saw the mistake I made and were sitting there and just face palming. But it's okay. It's okay. I made mistake. I make mistake also. And by the way, if you see that there is a better way to do something just let me know in the comments below uh, i i want to share my experience but i also want to learn something new and the better ways to to do stuff maybe maybe the way i do it is the old way or there is a better way just let me know uh, but for now let's let's start our test again now it should work yeah i made the stupid mistake but it should be fixed now. So first one is Firefox, that's correct. Now setting up, uh, yeah, now, now it's Chrome. Now everything is correct. Just a copy paste mistake. And total test run two fails zero. Okay, uh, everything is working. Now we can run tests in Chrome and Firefox, and that's it for today.